Hello and welcome to VOA's Red Carpet. My name is Jackson Fungani. Thank you so much for joining us today. On this episode of Red Carpet, we'll look at all the action from this year's Academy Awards. And Ghanaian recording artist Gambo joins us in the studio. Let's get on with the show. And let's start the show with some highlights of the latest entertainment news from around the world. In music news, Nicki Minaj has announced the signing of Dutch Ghanaian artist Nana Fofi to her record label. On her Queen Radio show, Minaj said she discovered Fofi on YouTube and became a fan of hers. Nana Fofi, who is best in Netherlands, has gained a following for her Afro R&B songs. Her EP is due out this month. In some sad news, South African rapper Costa Sonaboglu, better known as Costa Teach, collapsed and died during a music festival in Johannesburg. It was reported that he collapsed on stage, regained himself, and then collapsed again, dying as a result. The cause of death is currently unknown. In fashion news, Angolan models Janina Tati and Delvanio Pinto are two faces of the new campaign of the Italian brand Emporio Armani. The Angolan models were chosen to shine in the worldwide campaign of the new spring summer 2023 collection, according to model agency Dabanda. The motto of this collection was sustainability, and for this very reason, it stands out for the selection of pieces and accessories made of organic and recycled materials, as well as the sheds and patterns refer to nature. The comedy fantasy Everything Everywhere All at Once dominated the Academy Awards. The film earned seven Oscar statuettes, including for Best Picture. Michael Sullivan reports the movie's directors and three of its stars also received Oscars. Here's more. Two friends since college, directors Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert, earned an Oscar for The Madcap Tale of an Asian immigrant family transported to parallel universes. 60-year-old Malaysian-born star Michelle Yeoh was named Best Actress. Brendan Fraser won the Oscar for Best Actor for his starring role in The Whale, playing a morbidly obese man. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once earned acting nods for two supporting players. Jamie Lee Curtis was named Best Supporting Actress, Kei Hui Kwan was named Best Supporting Actor for his role as a harried husband. Born in Vietnam, the actor recalled his life's journey, which took him through a Hong Kong refugee camp. The German war film All Quiet on the Western Front was named Best International Feature and won awards for its production design, original score, and cinematography. The story of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny, titled Navalny, was named Best Documentary Feature. Yulia Yavalnaya, wife of the imprisoned politician, appeared on stage. Mexican director Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio was named Best Animated Feature. And the song Natu Natu from the Indian film RRR was named Best Original Song. The Oscars are the highlight of the year for the movie industry, a time when fans recall their favorite films and get a glimpse of Hollywood glamour. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles. And still on film, the security crisis in Burkina Faso has impacted every aspect of society, including its film industry. The 28th edition of the Pan-African Film and TV Festival of Ouagadougou, or FESPACO, which ended in March the 4th, reflected this difficult situation both on and off the screen. Reporters Yakuba Wadiogo and Thierry Quarry have this story narrated by Salem Solomon. When Burkinabe film director Apolline Traoré decided three years ago to show the world what daily life looks like under the dark cloud of terrorism, she encountered a severe obstacle. When we left, I was accompanied by the army, who was of extraordinary support for me. And we found the place where we had to shoot. And unfortunately, a week later, we had the problem of Solan. The June 2021 terrorist attack in the northern village of Solan left dozens dead and shocked the nation. 
Life changed for many in the country, including Traoré. The government forbade me to go there. It was three months of filming. And if we ask an army to come and provide us with security for three months, you see how complicated it is. They have other priorities. Traoré's full-length feature film Sira won the Yenenga Silver Stallion Award at the Pan-African Film and TV Festival of Ouagadougou, known as FESPACO. But Traoré isn't the only filmmaker who had to deal with the security situation in the country. I advise you to simply go and see the Burkina section. You'll see that out of 10 Burkina Bay films, nine deals with the issue of insecurity in our country. It gives a general idea of the fragile psychological state of the people, but also the hope that we hold on to. For some actors, hope is all they have. Work is scarce and many haven't been on a film set for a very long time. Since the security crisis in our country, I haven't even worked on a film set. That's been more the case for the past two years. Organizers say simply holding the event was a triumph. It went very well, and we are proud of that. Proud not only to have held the FESPACO, but also to have organized it in very good conditions and with professionalism too. Tunisian filmmaker Yusuf Chebi edged past Traoré for the festival's top prize, the coveted Yeninga Gold Stallion for his film Ashkal. For Terry Kaure and Yakuba Wadiago in Ouagadougou, Salim Solomon, VOA News. And now back to music. Ghanaian recording artist Gambo Song, Girls Girls, has become a viral sensation after comedian Michael Blackson and former NBA star Shaquille O'Neal were seen dancing to the song during the NBA All-Star Weekend. Gambo spoke to viewers Sande Shomari on this rising success. Let's take a look. We saw you on a video um, that your song was featuring and Michael Blackson was dancing with Shaquille O'Neal. And this was after the NBA All-Star Weekend. That, this went viral. This song is yours, yeah, girls, girls. Almost How did this nine, happen? It had almost 1.9 million views How on this Michael come Blackson's about, page. So um, Michael Blackson assigned me to his management company. Okay. So, you know, he was going for the Super Bowl because, you know, his, his um, team was um, part of the finals. And he was like, hey, you know, let's go down there, go, you know, support and all of that. So we got there and he was at the, I think they did an early, like a pre-party before mm -hmm. the game. Mm -hmm. And he was with Shaq O'Neal and then he has this song, that, this dance that he actually does, mm -hmm. which is, I think he calls it the he something dance like that. Mm -hmm. So he put on the song and then he was doing it with Shaq and posted it. So I, I started getting calls, yo, you were all over. I checked my Twitter, I was trending in Ghana, you know, I checked my Instagram, I was being tagged. And I was like, what's going on? My, my messages was blowing up. So I just turned it on, I was like, oh my God, that's my song and Shaq and Neil is dancing to it and he actually posted it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I should, that, we, should, we should try to dance. Yeah, and I think that I would like you to, to show me that. Yeah, because, yeah let, me, know, let me play the song right now, so I'll, I'll teach you to dance. Yes, and, and I'm a good dancer too. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> yeah, so you go like this, right? This is Michael Blackson's dance, by the way. Okay. So you go like this. Mm -hmm. ah, no. Yeah. No, no, no. No, yeah, he got it, he got it, he no. got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the dance, oh. man. Good, good. <laughs> you killed it, man. Thank you. It actually took a while for me to learn how to do this dance, actually. I've been yeah. practicing, yeah, you got it on the first try, too. Aquaba. Thank you, that's it, that's it. You got it, too, too. <laughs> I learned. That's what's up. And you know, um, I know apart from meeting Michael Blackson, this is a big thing. He's the king of comedy and he's yeah. very well known. Yeah. So now you're under his management. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, it's very interesting because um, he made a statement on Drinks and Champs and that was the first time he announced that he was coming out with a management company after building a school in Ghana mm -hmm. for his um, village back in Ghana, which was very you know, we're very grateful for that. Which like, is great because yeah, very, he, he came great. to visit us here yeah, and he, he spoke about exactly, that school yeah, as well. He actually great, built yeah. it and it's, it's actually free. And he, he made this quote that I really like, that the kids don't have to pay anything. The only thing they need to do 
is pay attention. Mm -hmm. And that really got him. And I hope one day I'll also be able to give back in that way. So he was thinking of, you know, coming out with a management company and coming out with an artist. And he made a statement on, on the Drinks and Champs that he um, showcased me on, saying there are about only four um, artists in Ghana. Mm -hmm. But he meant that there are four artists in Ghana that are known here. So he wanted to make the fifth artist that would be like mainstream known um, in the USA and back from Ghana. Mm -hmm. And I feel I was... Um, I was blessed. As, as I said, I put God in everything, so I feel God is on my side with everything that I'm doing. And it's, it's good to know that I was the one that was chosen, because we've known each other for about a year or two, and then we've, had, we've, we've been communicating on something like that, and he just said, yo, you know what? I see the talent in you, I see the work you're putting out, and I would like to support you, so let's, you know, let's get this work done. So coming here and actually doing everything that we've been doing since is magical. It's, dreams do come true, and I'd like to tell everybody watching this, any young person that has got anything that you're doing to believe in themselves. Never ever give up on what you're doing. Don't listen to what people say. If what you're doing is what you want to do in life and you know that's what's going to put money in your pocket, if you wake up in the morning, pray to God and just chase after your dreams. And now to sports, Danny Bill, a native of Cameroon and a seven time Muay Thai world champion, spoke to us in Los Angeles while raising money for his foundation in Africa, Les Etoiles de Mezo, or Stars in the House, which aims to train young people in martial arts and hopefully open new doors of opportunity for them. Jania Dulo has this report. Let's check it out. Muay Thai enthusiasts welcome a seven-time world champion as he prepares to share some tips at the Yukubian Muay Thai Academy in Los Angeles, right. California. Introducing seven-time world champion Muay Thai fighter Danny Bill. Let's give him a round of applause. Since Danny Bill was five years old and moved with his family to France from Cameroon, he says he has always wanted to stay grounded in his culture. I grew up, grew up. And I learned in France this, when I go to school that they, know, they, they, they never tell me who I am. Growing up in a tough neighborhood in Paris wasn't safe or easy. The young immigrant says he had to learn how to fight to defend himself. First, he picked up Kung Fu, then got into Muay Thai. In 1988, at the age of 15, he became the French Muay Thai champion. In 1993, he was the first European fighter to win the world title in Bangkok during a birthday celebration of Thailand's king. I bring him here for my students. I want my students to be able to experience the education from one of the legendary fighters. You know, the golden era, the 90s, 1990s was the golden era. A lot of great champions were uh, created during that time. And um, he was one of them. During the last five years, he has traveled to Cameroon every three to four months to teach young people at his foundation, known as Les Etoiles de la Maison, or Stars in the House. Boxing, as I do, is a great platform uh, to, to pick kids up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to, to give you confidence in yourself, and not just for them fighting. You can learn Muay Thai and learn boxing and kickboxing, and the confidence to gain from this can send them on to become scientists, doctors, lawyers, teachers, whatever. Danny is currently working with about 100 young people. Among them, he says, there are some good fighters. He hopes this next generation will change the future of Cameroon. Think about your land. You have a land. Think about what you can do in your country too, you know? Jenny Adulo for VOA News, Los Angeles. Thank you for watching VOA's Red Carpet. My name is Jackson Vungani. For more of your entertainment news, remember to check us out at voaafrica.com. We are also on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. Until next time, goodbye, everyone.